Wow, the images of this new Mega Constructs Razorback look pretty amazing, but there's nothing like the in-hand model. Do you get it? Because it's a Razorback. Once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Another breaking news edition. We have got a brand new Halo Mega Construct set. And this is kind of brand new, kind of also we knew it was coming for a long time. A few months ago, in-bag images of this new set came out online. I don't want to show the actual images because they're not officially Mega Constructs. But we saw production line bags of this set months ago, and now we finally, finally have the set. And I guess back then we only saw bags. We didn't actually know it was the Razorback, and the Razorback itself was teased on the Halo Infinite website. I don't even know how long ago now. The wait for Halo Infinite just seems so long, I lose track of all time and space. But yeah, we're here today to break down the new images of you're new to the channel. Welcome. Please do subscribe with that bell on. You'll get all the up-to-date Mega Constructs and Jazzware leaks in the future. Boy, howdy, this thing... Wow. <laughs> I've been impressed by pretty much every single new Mega Construct set that is coming out this year. Some have been all right, some have been just like next level, and this one is certainly top tier. Like this Razorback is wild. So we're gonna break down all the images one by one. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Let's check them out, guys. All of these images came from abgee.com, a toy website, and we'll start with the box art. And we got three different beautiful angles for this thing. They show off the whole set, and I mean like every piece of detailing, like we know everything to do with this set. First of all, I want to break down every figure and vehicle one by one, but before we break anything else down, Victor is back. Victor the Grunt, our pack mule grunt. We named this thing when it leaked many, many months ago. Halo Infinite Series 3 Blind Bags has the pack mule grunt, and this one has the grunt, but this time with banished weapons. He actually comes with four weapons, which which, I mean, that's wild to begin with. So, Victor out of the way. Let's let's break this down bit by bit. I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm genuinely so excited by this. It's the UNSC Razorback Blitz. 302 pieces with a gorgeous vehicle, four figures, a ton of weapons, and probably the best two-in-one feature I've ever really seen. This thing is wild. We're gonna start with the UNSC. We've got our girl, Kelly. Now, this is not exactly Kelly from Blue Team, but it is the same armor. It's a female so like it basically is Kelly. We have actually got Fred coming out in the new Chopper Takedown set. Comes with Echrim, the brutey boy, but the Fred actually has the number, like Fred's number on his chest. This one doesn't seem to. It is more like a generic Spartan, but it's definitely Kelly, guys. Come on, it's Kelly. And in the new blind bags, we also have a Fred and a Kelly mold in there as well. I think this almost just guarantees that Blue Team is in Halo Infinite. Only time will tell on the specifics of that, but come on, guys. Come on, it's, it's Blue Team. Blue Team seems an infinite. On a first glance, this Kelly figure does look a little lacking in detail, but then you do actually see that she's got some color, like a little strip on the top of her leg pieces, which is not that bad, and a very nice gold visor, a tiny bit of detail in her headlamp, but generally quite a basic figure, like it's not a standout in terms of detailing. Usually when we get big sets like this, or sort of medium range sets, I think that's where the detailing can sometimes lack. You've got things like Halo Heroes and very small sets that do actually push high quality paint apps, but then some of the bigger sets, the medium range ones, they don't exactly have as many. But in saying that, some of the later figures in this set actually have some really great paint apps. This one is a little less detailed, but she does look fantastic. Comes with a tactical shotgun, which is interesting. I'm really hoping that we have both the bulldog and the tactical in the game. Assets that are used in Mega Construct don't always decide in advance that it's going to be in the game. Like they do sort of have more expressive freedom in including things things that aren't in Infinite, and 343 won't even have given them all the information. So this tactical shotgun might just be a placeholder. I'm really hoping it's in the game though. UNSC reinforcements also include a Marine. She's pretty basic, but I am happy to see that she comes with two shoulder pads. ODST of all things. And it's just nice to see like a medium range set coming with a full set of armor for the character. Now this is what you're all here for friends, the banished. We have got a monkey boy that looks, wow really something else. This purple brute looks amazing and has a brand new set of armor. Those shoulders look really cool. The helmet, I believe, is a reused helmet from Halo Heroes. This brute looks fantastic. Again, quite nice detailing. Like, he's got painted toenails, which 
He's got painted toes. It's pretty good. Like, usually you wouldn't have that kind of level of detail with a small set. This brute actually has a lot of really nice detail. And I'm actually looking at this Kelly now and I see that it has highlights on her shoulders as well. You couldn't really see that from the previous image, but very nice. And that brute, he has some sort of silver detailing running all around the outskirts of his chest and then sort of purple wristbands across his arms. He's looking, wow. You're looking good, monkey. You're a good looking monkey. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd buy you a banana. <laughs> It comes with a plasma launcher. Now, this is actually the second set we've had a plasma launcher recently. Maybe it's more likely that we're going to get the plasma launcher in game. It was never my favorite weapon in Halo Reach, but I would like to see it return. Sure. Victor is looking fantastic here. Like, he's got so many weapons. A plasma pistol, new mold, two shock rifles, and a spike grenade. His skin is a nice tan color. He's got silver helmet with red highlights, and then dark silver, dark gray on his backpack running through to his chest. Yes. He's a beautiful, beautiful little grunty boy. Yeah, just the amount of weapons with this set is kind of wild. And also new mold brutes. A new mold grunt, essentially. And the marine is very old, sort of reused stuff, but then the Kelly is fantastic as well. So I'm very impressed with the lineup of figures. My boy Victor, my sweet baby boy Victor, I'm gonna have so many of you. This is fantastic. And we haven't even got to the Razorback yet, so let's delve into that. This vehicle, ever since I saw it in the Halo Infinite demo, I've just wanted to use it so bad. Badly. And it looks like it's been brought to life here in a much darker color, I think, than the demo, but it works really well. It's kind of only operative almost. I love the transparent windshield there. It's a brand new design. It's got a load of printed detailing running on the front sides. The UNSC logo looks great. And then we've got to talk about this color. I love that Mega Constructs is pioneering this way of like injection molding their pieces so they all come out differently. Every Razorback will look different because this sort of light gray etching scratching around it, like working through the color, it will be different on every single piece. Like the energy swords, like all of these different like camo and battle damaged sort of bricks. I know if you know what I'm talking about, you know, like every single piece will come out differently because that silver will work differently the way it's sort of like been injected into the mold. It'll vary every time. So this Razorback looks fantastic. It looks like a bulky boy. It's very well designed. I love the rim that runs to the back. It just screams old troop transport hog, which is something we've really been missing from Halo games. And then the front of it looks like the old Mega Constructs customizable warthog. Like it's definitely an inspiration from loads of different hogs over the years. There's been so many great ones, but this is definitely gonna take the cake. It's not even a warthog per se. It kind of looks a little longer and well smoothed off, like really nice design. Cannot wait to build this thing. But you know what guys, this will be the first set in the new new Mega Constructs line that I will definitely be buying two of. And I'll tell you why, the two-in-one, baby. Let's check out that image. This is fantastic. This two-in-one, wow. You get a UNSC barricade defense, you get a UNSC anti-air gun, and you get a mech suit for my monkey. Monkey mech, boys, we got a monkey mech. This brute looks insane. I think he has chain machine guns on his top and maybe missile pods on the side, and he's even still able to hold his plasma launcher. Like, this mech suit is so funny. Massive toes, like, it's a mechanical god. I love this beast. The rockets on the actual base look amazing, the radar dish does, and the actual missile part, like, I cannot believe this is built from the Razorback. I can't even see the pieces of the Razorback in this thing. This is so well made. Like, Mega Constructs, hats off to you. I've been saying for a long time, like, I, I don't like to ever hate on Mega Constructs. I think they're doing a really great job. But the one thing they are falling behind with is scenery pieces. Like, when I put all of my Halo Infinite vehicles together, they're just vehicles. There's no base plates, there's no scenery pieces, there's no real turrets or, like, anything, really. So this is a big step forward. Yes, there was a two-in-one fire base with the Pelican, but I could not afford two Pelicans. This is way more up my alley. This is more affordable, and I cannot wait to build that fire base. Like, honestly, that looks insane. Guys, this is a set to remember. This is gonna go down in history. A really incredible build with an equally incredible alt build. Four figures, including our pack mule Victor, a brand new brute with a, with a freaking mech suit, guys, and then Kelly and a UNSC Marine. Let me know in the comments down below which part of this 
business you are most excited about? Will you build the Razorback, the base, or both? And really, the sky's the limit with these alt builds. Like, this is definitely the best one so far. It even looks like the radar wreckage set. Like, this is phenomenal. That, <laughs> that mech suit for the brute. I'm gonna have to have that one fighting the mech suit thing that we had for the chief from the alt build of the Warthog. Like, they're definitely two in one there. Make sure to turn on that bell if you want to be up to date with your news. And please do make sure to like this video and drop a comment letting me know what your favorite part of this build is. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, guys, and the domain is signing off.